Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy CV with another reaction video. And this one is a little bit different. I know we normally do a little bit of sports and music, but this one is called 10 Rare Animals, only found in the Philippines. And I had a girl tell me that there's not a lot of animals in the Philippines. And I was like, well, then I definitely got to do this video now. And she is going to watch this video. So, well, we're going to learn something new. Probably both of us. And you live in the Philippines. So, let's get this video to 100 likes if we can. Let's do it, man. 10 rare animals only found in the Philippines. Only. 10 animals native to the Philippines. The Philippines okay. is a beautiful archipelago nation made up of 7,641 islands. That's beautiful. It's known for its many beautiful beaches, delicious fruits, and exotic island tourist attractions. If you go to the wow. islands, you will find no lack of fun and exciting things to do. It would take more than 20 years to spend just a day on each of the islands, but you should make sure to carve out 20. Well, go let's go back. How many islands? Made up of 7,641 islands. 7,641 islands? Is that? Okay. So does one rock in the ocean, is that considered an island? Because how is this 7,000 islands? Is that even possible? I feel like every rock they count it as an island because where I'm from, it's 10 islands and it's all big. So 7,000. Oh, look at this. So this is an island, right? So you got a couple of houses, boats and a soccer field. That's actually pretty cool. But that's considered an island. Yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of small ones. I have to look up. Look this up on the map, man. Beaches, delicious fruits, and exotic island tourist attractions. That's beautiful, if you go though. To the islands, you will find no lack of fun and exciting things to do. It would take more than 20 years to spend just a day on each of the wow. islands. But you should make sure to carve out some time to see the amazing wildlife. The Philippines are home to a host makes of you exotic wanna, Makes you want to visit, huh? There are 10 animals native to the Philippines. Okay. Number 10, Philippine Flying Lemur. Known locally as the Kagwang, the Philippine Flying Lemur has a bit of a misleading name. The it Kagwang. is technically not a species of lemur and it actually can't fly. What's up what? with that? Well, you'll be relieved to know that this beautiful species can actually glide for distances as far as 100 meters. How does it do this? It has a foot long tail that is connected to its front legs with a skin membrane. The result wow. is a monkey looking creature with big bat like wings. They also have clawed feet for fast climbing. As a nocturnal wow. creature, it spends its days fastened to the side of trees, sleeping and resting. But at night, they glide from tree to tree, eating fruits, insects, young leaves, and flowers. Because fruit is one of the major agricultural products of the Philippines, the locals actually considered this fruit-eating lemur a pest. But that doesn't keep us from considering it a beautiful Philippine species. That is cool. On our list. Number nine, Philippine crocodile. Let's get a bit more dangerous, shall we? The Philippine What's the difference crocodile seeing? is a comparatively small species of crocodile native to the Philippine Islands. As a freshwater crocodile, they can be found in lakes, rivers, ponds, and especially marshlands. But is it called the Philippine crocodile just because it's from the Philippines? What's the difference between that in somewhere in Georgia or something or Virginia you can or the tell swamps. a young hatchling by its golden brown scales but the species thick scalene armor gets darker and darker the older it gets while you don't want to get too close to its broad jaws its diet mostly consists of small mammals birds and lizards but don't let that fool you but don't let that fool you into thinking that they're harmless to humans Despite being a smaller breed of crocodile, they still usually grow two meters long. And the largest Whoa. recorded Philippine crocodile was three meters or nine feet long. You won't find me getting near the business end of those yeah. teeth. Unfortunately, because of this fact, Damn, humans look have how been big known that to is. hunt and kill Philippine crocodiles. It doesn't help that their skin and meat can be sold for profit. Currently, uh -huh. the Philippine crocodile is a protected species. Let's hope that their number jumps back up soon. Number eight, Palawan Peacock Pheasant. This bird is drop-dead gorgeous. The Palawan Peacock Pheasant is known to be an elusive species of bird, but if you manage to catch a glimpse, you'll is be that a normal with a great view of a peacock. Oh, dude, that is so cool to see. Like, I've never seen a peacock, like, in front of me in real life. Like, that looks so cool. Look at the colors, man. Beautiful shining coat of rich blue feathers. 
You'll know wow. it by the distinctive crest atop its head and the male's distinctive tail feathers. Yes, the Palawan peacock pheasant is named after the peacock for a reason. Well, not as extravagant as the peacock male's it looks smaller tail than a display when it fights off predators or it looks tries smaller to than other mate, peacock. The Palawan peacock pheasant is capable of extending its tail feathers in a similar way. The plumage is covered in robin blue spots that resemble eyes and help to scare predators away. That's they also cool. use this extravagant display in their mating rituals. The Palawan peacock pheasant is one of those rare species of animal that is truly monogamous and both parents typically help to rear newly hatched chicks. Hmm. Number 7. Tamara the Tamara, Tamara is native to Mindoro, one of the largest is islands in the Philippines, and so locals generally call it the Mindoro Dwarf Buffalo, and this name is right on the money. The Tamara looks like, well, a dwarf buffalo. Yeah, it looks like a cow and a buffalo mix. They are small and stocky, a gray-black color with a stout pair of straight, backward-pointing horns. Even wow. though they're small for a buffalo, they still weigh a stout 200 to 300 kilos. Do you want to catch? No, it's like a buffalo, a cow, and a goat. Catch all a mixed. Of wild tamarall eating bamboo shoots and grass and forests and grasslands. Unfortunately, that's getting harder and harder to do. A count in 2016 placed the wild tamarall count at only 430, placing it on the crucially endangered species list. Wow, they 400 left. They hunted by poachers for sport and meat, and human population growth is relentlessly threatening Why? their habitat. Luckily, the most recent count places their numbers at 466 to 494. Let's hope that upward trend continues. Wow. Number six, Dinagat, bushy-tailed cloud rat. You might not think of a species Dinagat. called a cloud rat as an exciting species of wildlife to seek out, but- Bro, that looks like a rat. I'm a rat, I'm just, anything that looks like a rat, I'm not a fan of. I'm sorry, man. It just, it's just, uh, uh, it's like they're crawling on my body, man. Anyways, the Dinagat, bushy-tailed cloud rat, is the holy grail of Philippine wildlife. It is the rarest of eight species of Philippine cloud cloud rats, all of which are either threatened or endangered. It made its first appearance only in the 1970s and wasn't seen again until 2012. That's huh? What? How? Eight species of Philippine cloud rats, all of which are either threatened or endangered. Where'd they it go? It made its first appearance only in the 1970s and wasn't seen again until 2012. That's four decades between sightings. Yeah. It's no wonder that many conservationists thought the species was extinct. They are a tree-dwelling species of rodent that feeds on leaves, and they can grow up to 2.5 feet long. Because of the uniqueness of this critically endangered species, it is the mascot of the Philippine Biodiversity Conservation Foundation. But studies of the species remain limited due to how difficult they are oh, to find. Wow. All I can say is if you're lucky enough to encounter one of these rare creatures during your trips to the Philippines, count yourself lucky. Hey, are you enjoying uh, the video? Then make sure you find and click that like button down below. We're trying to reach 500 likes this time. Can you help us get there? 500 likes? How many likes you got on your now, bro? Bro, you got 64K. Like, stop it. I just gave you a like, okay? <laughs> Number five. Busayan, warty pig. Busayan. All right, back to the animals. This is another extremely rare like species a pig. of animals driven from their homes by deforestation during the 1970s and 80s. Today, only around 300 of them live in captivity. They were named for the quote unquote warts on their faces, but Mohawk pig might have been just as appropriate for a name. Mohawk they pigs. Could be recognized <laughs> Look at that hair. That could be, they should have been in the Lion King, man. They could definitely be in the Lion King. They got the nice mohawk, man. ...of hair atop their heads, and that has been described as very mohawk-like. Believe it or not, this floppy mane is grown by males every year to help them attract mates. But you'll also want to keep an eye on the sharp tusks that extend out from their faces. Yes, those... So let me ask you guys a question, man. I don't know if this is true, but I heard that if you take a pig from the wild and you put him, let's say, in the backyard, like, he'll start to look different right like he'll not have the tusk but if you take a pig that's since a baby that you grew or that you had and you put him in the wild and he'll start to grow tusk because the body starts to transform into survival mode in the uh in the wild you guys ever heard of that because that's what i heard sounded pretty cool 
but I don't know if it's true because I never looked it up. But if that's the case, man, that is cool, man, how uh, pigs can do that. Those can be quite dangerous, but that doesn't mean that their species deserves to be completely eradicated. Despite strict government poaching policies, they continue to be poached for their meat, which is considered a delicacy by some. Thankfully, oh, wow. the species is breeding well in captivity, and efforts have already begun to reintroduce them into the wild. That's Number good. Four, Philippine what? moose deer. What would you get? If huh? That's a rat and a squirrel. How's that a deer or a moose? Bro, that... <laughs> I'm sorry. What? You took a tiny little field mouse and mixed it with See a graceful feet? deer. Why the Philippine moose deer, of course. Okay, this species isn't actually Whoa. a moose deer hybrid, but judging by looks alone, it might as well be. Only growing to 18 centimeters at the shoulders, they are hard to spot in their natural what? habitat, hiding amid thick vegetation. Dude, that is a weird animal, Chip. dude. And if you do manage to find one, you'll only get the briefest of glimpses before it tiptoes away on its dainty little legs. Like many of the other species on the list, the Philippine moose deer has suffered a blow to its population. Does from it have loss something in its mouth? Hunting. Like the warty pig mentioned just before. Bro, it looks like a rat and a squirrel together. Its meat is considered. Look at the. Look at the. the, the Tusk thingy, what the fudge is this? Bro, you telling me this is not an alien? If this thing came from the sky, you go, oh my God, it's an alien. But because it lives with us, you don't think it's an alien? Like, look at this. A delicacy. Number three, whale shark. I oh, will admit, whale, whale sharks, sharks are beautiful, man. More places than the waters of the Philippines. After all, the ocean is a big place. But since thousands of them migrate whale to the sharks Philippines, are beautiful. Elasmo Branch Mecca from December to May, they deserve a spot on this list. Sometimes reaching lengths of up to 40 feet, they're whale sharks beautiful. Are the largest species of shark in the I world. I love the so large, spots. In fact, that they have often been mistaken for whales. Thus, the name. But don't worry, they aren't after humans. They swim around close to the surface to catch mm. tiny food sources in the water like plankton. Do a YouTube search and you'll find plenty of videos of scuba divers safely swimming around massive whale sharks as they meander around them That's in the That's cool deep though. In the I won't do it. The prime time to spot mm -mm. a whale shark is from February to April. And so if you're more of a beach and ocean type of person than a jungle lover, maybe you would enjoy one hey, of several tourist he's attractions just walking in the on. Philippines devoted hey. to swimming with whale sharks. Whoa. Number two, Philippine that was a, that was a beautiful shark. Chances are you've seen one of these small primates pop up on YouTube. That's a before. lemur. Their distinctive appearance gives the Philippine tarsier Plenty of airtime on wildlife programs oh, wait, that's like our not, own. That's With not lemur? Their long, spindly fingers, compact appearance, and absolutely massive eyes, there really isn't anything that looks quite like the tarsier. In my opinion, it constantly looks like it's just seen the most shocking thing it could have possibly imagined. It is one of the world's it, smallest primates, and everything about I thought it was is a lemur. For nocturnal life. One of the first things that you probably notice about this small creature the first time that you saw it is its massive eyes. Well, these are perfect for seeing at night. Likewise, its large conical ears are very sensitive, capturing wow. and amplifying sounds very effective. This one looks like, it looks like a bat. Okay, so it's got bat ears and head, but it's got like frog legs. That the tarsier can use its hearing as a tool to navigate dark jungle nights. Wow. You might know that tarsiers can be purchased as pets through some exotic vendors, but you might want to think twice before buying one. These animals cope terribly with captivity and often don't survive the ordeal. They are better off left to the wild jungles. Why would you love. want them in your house Before we anyway? Reveal our favorite animal native to the Philippines. Thank you so much for watching. And while you're thinking about it, why don't you Thank go you for ahead the video. and share this video with your friends? If you I like am. It, I'm, I'm doing sure a reaction. Number one, <laughs> Philippine Whoa. eagle. Once known as the monkey-eating eagle, the Philippine eagle is a powerful bird. Whoa, in fact, it is one of the largest cool. and strongest species of eagles on the entire planet. What? On top of its impressive size, the Philippine eagle has an impressive long arched beak and distinctively majestic long crown feathers. Move aside, bald eagle. Here's a bird that managed to keep its hair and it looks truly regal. In keeping Whoa. with its reputation for strength and Look superiority, at his beak. that the thing Philippine will rip eagle through also your eats skin. Lemurs, snakes and bats. But the best thing about the Philippine eagles is its success story. Not Fish, too long man. ago, there were only a few of these birds left. They were on the verge of extinction. But thanks to the Philippine Eagle Center, their numbers have sprung back from... Wow. 
That is huge. Look at next to this lady. That's huge. Those claws and those beaks. Nah. Nah. I'm Gucci, man. A brink, and they've been saved from extinction for now. Hey, thanks for watching. Want to suggest a video? Let us know in the comment section below. Okay. The, the ego was cool. I love the ego. But I but the weirdest thing I seen was the the deer, the like the rat, half rat, half deer, and it had that little tusk. That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I'm serious. That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. And by the way, the girl who told me there's no animals in the Philippines, what are you talking about? I just saw 10 cool animals in the Philippines. Only found in the Philippines. What are you talking about? So hopefully this video you learn from it because I certainly did. I actually enjoy videos like this and I decided to do this because I'm doing reaction on Philippines artists. They are amazing. So why not get to know a little bit of the Philippines? We start with the animals, then we'll go food, then we'll go location and, you know, in some of the islands. So what do you guys think we should do next to learn about the Philippines? If it's food, if it's like island and vacation places, beautiful places, beautiful beaches, beautiful people. Put in the comment section below, man. Till next time, keep your head up. Love you guys. Peace.